Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate Back on the Monte Carlo SS, but this rain it just won't let me be. And I was thinking all night about these jams. Same way I did with this trim. As long as I was thinking about them, I could have had them done. So we're gonna paint these jams. I know I said at first he didn't want the jams painted, but we're gonna go with that darker color that I sprayed. And it just wouldn't look right if I did the outside, that darker color in the jams be silver. So we're gonna take care of that on this video here. And the only thing we're gonna do, we're gonna scuff the jams up. Wait one second, let me get, let me show you what we're gonna use to uh, scuff it up. What you're gonna need is a maroon scotch spray. It's equivalent to 320, 400 grit. It don't leave deep scratches in it when you're spraying base over it. Just wanna go back and forth scuffing up the surface is all it's gonna take. But before I start scuffing everything up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove stuff like this here that'll come off pretty fast. I'm gonna remove this seal, this trim here. This here be fine. Well, nah, that's one piece, so I'm gonna have to take this off as well. I'm just gonna go around areas that I'm gonna keep this door panel on because I'm not gonna bother by taking it off. And this weather stripping, I'm gonna have to keep it on as well because he don't have no more. And I'm not sure if he wanna buy any. So I'm just gonna have to mask this up, but I'll take stuff like this off here. Now we'll get some soap and water, clean up everything. I believe that was the last piece I took off there. You don't want to start sanding with all this dirt and grit everywhere. I done sanded everything except this jam and this door. I gotta take this door panel off. I know I said I was gonna take the door panels off for this molding, but I am. I found it. It's gonna be a lot easier me taking it off than trying to mask up this weather stripping and this door panel. It's becoming a full fledged paint job now. All oh, this here sanded. Good to go. Once I do that door over there. I got a little up under the hood to do, then I'll be good to go. Just finished up with all the sanding. Now I do me a final wipe down. Clean it on up. Then we'll be ready to pull it in the shop. Mask it up, be ready to spray some paint. I didn't get to finish wiping it down outside. It looked like it wanted to start raining, so I pulled it on in. But let me show you something here. Since I took this door panel off, 
I'm able to take this outer window sweep off now. Because in order to take this off, you gotta let the window all the way down, then you can get to these screws. I already done took the screws out, so we're just gonna pull it off now. Now I can get paint. Let me show you. I can get paint up in here now. I ain't gonna have no paint laying right here. As you can see, the previous painter, they had a paint laying. This the following day, everything good and dry, so I'm good to go ahead and mask. I'm gonna take some, let me show you what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using this pure blue masking plastic sheeting. I'm gonna throw it over the entire car, but before I do that, I'm gonna shut the deck lid. Then I cut out for the doors and the deck lid. So now I'm gonna take this mask and tape, and I'm gonna trim out around my deck lid here and the doors. I'm gonna do that first. Show you what I done done so far. So I got the outline going here. Let me show you on this side as far as the door. I decided I was going to paint the mirror when I do the jams. Usually I take the mirror off, but I wasn't going to go through the trouble of fishing out the uh, controls through the dash, so I left the mirror on. And the reason why I don't like painting mirrors when they on, especially when you're spraying candy or uh, a pearl, because it's hard to get coverage up in here without putting too much paint here. You know what I'm saying? When, you, when I'm spraying here trying to get coverage, I put more paint here. So I'm going to paint the mirror when I do the jams. I started masking up the door, you see. But when I put the plastic over it, I'm gonna put some right here as well. And the reason why I'm putting all this masking tape and paper and plastic, I should have did the jams when I, before I did the body work. I already done sanded everything ready to paint. But I wasn't planning on doing the jams, so I'm trying to keep from putting over spray here so I wouldn't have to go back and sand it. That's why I'm masking it up like this. I got some paper. Going down through here, trying not to keep the uh, overspray off the, the glass. I still got to mask this up here. I'll probably do that last. But you can see what I got going on here. I'm going to paint the rocker. When I paint the jam, I got a cutoff line here. I can cut it off when I paint the car, so you, won't, you wouldn't be able to tell. Just now, I put the plastic sheeting over the entire car and then trim it out. All right, I got the sheeting over the car. What I like about this sheeting here, it cleans to the car like it don't be blowing everywhere when you start spraying. But now, you see where I did the outline. I'm gonna take my razor blade and just cut out the outline. After I had trimmed it out, I came back with some masking tape and masked the sheeting down around the edge. I still got to mask this part here off. Here's the door. Still got to mask this off. And I got to mask the inside off. I'll be using a piece that I cut out from the door to mask the inside to keep that old spray from getting on the interior. 
Let me show you how I'm gonna be masking. I'm gonna be back masking. And what I mean by back masking is putting the masking tape on the back side. Which I could just put the tape right here because of a piece of uh trim go right here. But I'm gonna back mask it. Get a cleaner look. Then I go back and put the plastic sheeting around the edge of the tape. Then I'd be good to go for us to overspray from the interior. We're getting in the interior. All the masking done. It took me a while, but I don't mind doing it. I enjoy the work. But I wish I would have did the uh, jam before I did the body work. Won't have to worry about all this. Keep that overspray off that, off them panels. I ain't got to resand them. Mask up the handle and the controls. Get them tucked off enough. It's some adhesive right here, but I'm not too tough worried about this here because the molding going back over it, it's gonna be some more glue. I won't worry about getting it up. I got some of it up. But you're gonna see this here once I paint it. But it's gonna be covered up. But I'm not gonna paint tonight. I'm gonna wait till in the morning. Start off fresh. We're going with a custom base. It's gonna be a dark gray, grayish base. But I'll cut you back on in the morning. We is about to spray some paint now. But before we spray the paint, we're gonna wipe it down with some wax and grease remover. Wipe it on with one cloth, wipe it off with another. Before I spray my base coat, I'm gonna spray a seal on it. I'm going to be using this dark gray urethane silver by Urican because I'm going with a gray, a darker gray base. So I'm going to probably try to get away with spraying two coats of the base and one coat of silver. Silver is a lot cheaper than base, so you'll rather use silver plus you'll get a better foundation using silver.
Here is the sealer. I put two coats of sealer on it. And you can spray door jams, you can spray a whole entire car. Because spraying jams, you got all kind of contours and different angles you gotta hit without trying to get no runs. Spraying the entire car, you just really going straight back and forth. That's the mirror there. Like I said, I did that rocker panel. I'm gonna put two coats of base on it. Let me show you the custom base here that I mixed up. It's a metallic. Not sure if you're seeing it like I'm seeing it. Let's get it in a cup, get the spraying. I just wanted to cut you back on after the first coat of base, so you how good it covered. That's from spraying that sealer. You want to go with a somewhat of the same tone base you're going with. You get good coverage like that. Let this flash about 15 minutes, then I'll spray one more coat. I'll be good to go. Two coats of metallic base. I think I'm ready to spray my pearl now. Let me show you the pearl. It's the pearl. That's the color there. Screaming deep red. It's about your cam. If you want to see how I mix this here, it's down in the description.
Two coats of the pearl. You can go more if you want to, but I didn't want to change the look too much. It look more like a copper look now. Now I spray my clear, be good to go. Two coats of clear. It's pretty much right to the test now. I can go ahead and try to remove this tape off this sticker here before it harden up and bridge on me. I'll take care of this in a minute. Oh, I should come off now. But that's all I put on here was two coats.
in the jams. <laughs>